Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 2nd to May 8th, 2022. This is a general reading, so feel free to take with you whatever resonates and leave behind whatever does not. To get a deeper view of your week, be sure to check out your readings for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. In this first column over here, we are looking at the life lessons you're learning. In this middle column, we are looking at what you don't see coming this week. And in this third column, we are looking at advice from your guides and guardians. So we're going to go ahead and pull some, oh, I have these upside down. We're going to pull some tarot cards for context here, and we'll go through the meanings. Did I shuffle these weirdly? No, I'm just flipping them weirdly. Okay, uh, we'll go through the different meanings, and then we will clarify with more cards. Okay, so you have here in the life lessons you're learning, compassion, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So perhaps you had um, been experiencing some upset or conflict in your life, and it seems that you are learning the lesson of trying to release things that aren't for your best and highest good, and trying to um, you know, move on, which calls for forgiveness. And that really, you know, recognizing that there are, there's good in yourself, there's good in others. Uh, here with the Hierophant card, uh, you also have the two of wands in the world, but the Hierophant card is a card of recognizing that there is something that exists in this world that is greater than yourself and that includes your connection to others and also attaining a higher awareness, a higher knowledge. Um, and also uh, a sense of just, you know, a, a moral, a moral standard kind of stand to, to go by. You have the world card here, which is a, you know, completion of one journey and the start of another journey. You have the Two of Wands here, which is about kind of leaving what you know. You have this person is like sitting by the globe right here. Uh, leaving what you've already experienced and moving into uh, a different direction outside of your comfort zone and you know, seeing what more you can accomplish. So to some degree, it seems like whatever you were going through, um, it was probably, you know, it wasn't for your best and highest good. You're ready to move on. And that seems to be um, a need for, like, forgiveness because sometimes if you just move on without actually going through the process of um, learning from things or experiencing uh, healing and, and things that were hurtful or disappointing, uh, then you can carry with you baggage. So in terms of what uh, about this week is going to be unexpected, you have vanity set, self-awareness, and clarity. So this card is, you know, about self-care. It can also ask the question of, uh, you know, when you look in the mirror, uh, what is it that you see? Is it someone who is, uh, you know, the person you want to be? Is it some kind of sense of uh, kind of thinking that you are 
not what you want to be or possibly even um, a, sen well, a sense of vanity. I don't think there's a different word that I could come up that's better than that. You have the Devil, the Temperance card, and Queen of Wands. So in terms of self-awareness um, and clarity, this Temperance card is really about balance. They're aware of their past and their present and making the future that they want for themselves. Uh, it's a sense of being, um, let's see here, a focus, intention, and attention to creating something new. In the traditional temperance card, you see there's an angel with two um, cups or goblets and mixing liquid between them. And the, the angel is really like looking at the liquid and really like focus on what it is that is being blended and a new, you know, uh, an outcome being something new. So the Queen of Wands is also about self-awareness. They are, you know, a sense of positivity, courage, um, vibrance, and loyalty. They're someone that really uh, wherever they go, they kind of light up a room, they make friends easily, uh, people are drawn to them. And then you have this devil card, which is, you know, temptation to cut corners, to do things that you might not be proud of. Um, it's about, you know, addictions, can be about negative thinking patterns, uh, repeated repeated uh, cycles where it's not for your best and highest good and thinking that you don't have the power to break out of those certain situations. So what you don't see coming is really going to have you focus on the type of person you are and the type of person you want to be and the type of choices that you've made in the past possibly to kind of lead you to those situations that you might be repeating. And I see there's the judgment card over here of this advice from your guides and guardians, which is about um, taking, you know, a moment of truth to honestly reflect on your choices, your decisions in the past and letting those go um, and releasing what's not for your best and highest good so that you're not taking baggage with you in the future. You have this card here, uh, the gift of neutrality. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. So that's interesting here with the temperance card. Um, that's a card of balance, and it's also about moderation and um, if there is too much of one thing, not enough of the other, kind of balancing out. So there's a new like a, a neutral sense there. So it seems like whatever unexpected is showing up for you this week, it's going to kind of teach you these like lessons of uh, balance and why you'll need balance. And here, the advice is really kind of reflecting on your past and also, you know, to some degree, what it is you want for your future. Here you have the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is really all about fire. Um, knights in general are, um, they're related to the element in fi of fire and so are wands. So here it's just like burning up, um, just going for whatever is the draw, you know, the, um, what is it? The passions are pushing you towards something. It's really um, might not even be enjoying in the moment. It's just like the thrill of the, the next adventure. 
uh, with the Three of Pentacles, it's really about trying to complement uh, your skills with other people's skills and kind of creating something that is, you know, bigger than yourself and what you could accomplish on your own, which is, you know, uh, goes along with this lesson of, of the Hierophant and recognizing, you know, that there's more than um, what's going on in the universe is more than just about you and it's about uh, something greater. So here with a sense of, you know, the lesson you're learning of compassion, needing to be self-aware, recognizing your uh, potential on the light and the dark side and really you know, kind of almost accepting those different aspects of yourself or recognizing those things and coming to a place where uh, you are balanced with it. So let's get some clarification here. Let's take a look at the Hierophant. You have the King of Cups. So if there's someone in your life that is uh, perhaps you look up to, um, a mentor, a teacher, a parent, someone who is really emotionally, they're grounded, they're compassionate, they're supportive, they're, you know, one of the nicest people that you know, you know, always caring about people, animals, others, welfare, basically always trying to help others improve. Um, it would seem like this is an individual that can really help you or has been helping you learn this lesson of compassion. Maybe you have like a, um, you know, you do yoga or you have a meditation or some type of religious group that you're going to, uh, you know, maybe there is something that they say that really taps into this concept of gentleness and forgiveness and recognizing that there's good in everybody. So let's take a look at this world card. You have the Six of Swords. So I think I, I had mentioned like, it seems like you had experienced something and now you are trying to move forward and here it's a sense of healing. So for those that have, you know, healed, that's great. If you are, you could possibly even still be working on it. That's what actually what I'm saying is you're still working on this transition. And part of that healing, it looks like it involves forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness of others, forgiveness of yourself. Perhaps it's a cycle that you find yourself in. Perhaps it's a cycle where you just, um, you know, have been wanting to get outside of something that you know, a pattern that you've been involved in, and you don't take those opportunities. So let's take a look at the, the Two of Wands. You have the Knight of Pentacles, which is... Um, it's an energy of really looking at the long term and investing in the long term and doing the things that is not exciting or necessarily popular or necessarily something that we're eager to do. But the Knight of Pentacles is uh, in intentionally thinks about each next step because they're very, uh, they very much want to succeed in um, creating their kingdom or they're reaching their goals and they care about their reputation, they're reliable and they wanna make sure they're doing things correctly. They move very slowly in this and here it could be, um, you know, perhaps for some of you, if you are, if this has to do with a love situation, 
perhaps you tend not to go for these more like slow moving, reliable, boring, not boring, they can be seen as boring, but more traditional and not so thrilling type of individuals um, then maybe you know it's a call to look at that for others this could be something to do with your sense of security your values and you know that's something that you're considering and maybe you need to kind of recognize that this is maybe for your best and, and highest good. So the, the Knight of Pentacles is, is probably, not probably, it tends to be someone who does the responsible thing, you know, um, make sure that they have their insurance coverage um, up to date. It, they um, make sure their alarm is set at, at a reasonable time so there's enough time to get ready to get wherever they need to be. They show up a little bit early. Um, this is something that maybe you are possibly learning to do now or something that you are, you know, not really excited about doing. But the Knight of Pentacles is, you know, uh, does what needs to be done so that you know, the goals can be, certain goals can be reached. So here in terms of healing, uh, if that is the goal to be reached, then, you know, forgiveness is part of that. So let's take a look at this devil card here and the, what you don't see coming, self-awareness, clarity, vanity, sight. You have the strength card, which is recognizing the light parts of you and the dark parts of you and accepting those parts. Um, recognizing uh, that, you know, some parts are fiery and fierce, other parts are more tender and slow moving, and really embracing all aspects of yourself so that uh, you can call upon whatever is needed at the appropriate time. So for, for those of you that are, you know, in repeated patterns of things, uh, perhaps recognizing that you have the strength to break those patterns or possibly even allowing yourself uh, to be more receptive and not having a certain sense of expectation. Uh, there might be some, what is it called? Lack of clarity in, you know, breaking a cycle, but it really will help you to be more aware of who you are and what you can accomplish. Let's look at the temperance card here. It's about balance. You have the Hierophant again. So here in the temperance card is also a, it's a sense of kind of creating your heaven on earth. And with the Hierophant, it's, I'm starting to think like uh, what is coming in for you that you don't see coming is going to really put you in a place where you are seeking that balance. You're perhaps questioning, how is it that these things keep happening to me? How can I maintain balance? How can I, you know, be at peace here? And with this Hierophant, it could be like possibly even a certain, you know, ritual that you need to start, you know, doing. Um, possibly starting your day uh, with some mindfulness or meditation or um, possibly even, uh, you know, self, 
affirmation kind of, uh, is that what they're called? Yeah, like just self-affirmation, whatever you want to manifest, however you want to see yourself. It, it seems like this balance and accepting yourself, getting a sense of balance, in part has to do with uh, some type of ritual. For other people, it may be that you are, um, to some degree, trying to separate yourself from a religious belief, perhaps that you grew up in, that you maybe felt was oppressive, and trying to um, get an understanding of what that means for you, that is best for your, for you, and what you want to, you know, accomplish on a, a spiritual level, energetic level, um, you know, whatever that may be. So let's look at the Queen of Wands. You have the Ten of Cups. So really this this energy of stepping into your power, this this courage, it really can help you um, experience your, you know, personal happiness, happiness with your uh, friends and family, whoever you believe would constitute your friends and your family, and also be able to experience all the different emotions represented by the different colors of the rainbow and be able to manage them. So here, um, this What You Don't See Coming Week is really going to have you focus on your patterns, your rituals, um, moderation and perhaps even you know why it is you haven't been embracing certain aspects of yourself it could be you know this more fiery aspect of yourself this more sassy aspect of yourself contributed to whatever it is that you need to forgive yourself or forgive others for so let's take a look at uh, this advice from your guides and guardians. Let's look at the Knight of Wands over there because that is the, again, the, the fiery, um, energetic, determined aspect. You have the Three of Swords. So it seems like for some of you, um, it's this kind of passion, the fire aspect embracing that fire aspect that uh, either leads to disappointment, upset, hurt for yourself or for others. This could be, you know, a betrayal of some sort. Perhaps uh, you tend to be a little bit flirtatious and um, it ends up hurting, you know, people that you know or vice versa, that uh, when you start getting a little bit more uh, adventurous and passionate, that um, uh, perhaps the people that you're with, if you're with a Knight of Pentacles, they're like, you're not the person for me. I need someone who's less wild. So that could be one aspect of this too. Well, for some of you, it could, the Knight of Pentacles could be you. For others, the Knight of Pentacles is someone that you've been with before or considering being with. But the kind of overall theme I'm getting, especially with this like bright reddish orange card here uh, and this Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Strength card is has to do with your fire and how you wield your passion and your desires and you pursue those things. So let's look at the judgment card here. You have the hermit. So it may be that to get this balance 
to really reflect on what's going on. Um, it's something that you should be doing on your own. Maybe make, you know, not necessarily talking to your friends about it and actually honestly reflecting on your choices, your actions, your past behaviors, all those things, because this is about you. And this is your card, Virgo. This is about you, um, you know, s stepping into your hermit power and to your knowledge and really taking all this, um, you know, ups, downs, lights, dark, uh, fiery energy, watery energy, and making sense of it and really having that contribute to your inner knowing, your knowledge um, and wisdom that you're taking with you and learn from your journeys. So let's take a look at the three of pentacles. You have the nine of wands. So for some of you, it's almost as if when you get involved with other people, usually the three of pentacles is about building something up. But what I'm kind of sensing here is um, you could be taking on too much because you are, you know, making it seem like you have all this energy, that you have all this passion, you have all this de desire, and that really it's wearing you down. For others, it's almost as if there's certain people that you think lift you up um, that you are surrounding yourself by but really they're draining you like energy vampires. Um, so in terms of this balance is at work in your life, yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. It's almost as if you have to recognize, um, like when do you kind of not, also not take the lead, not need to be the center, not need to uh, put in so much and kind of allow yourself to sit back and feel some balance and just see the world kind of play out. And um, you might find a certain you know, aspect of yourself that you didn't notice before in doing that. So I'm hoping that this provides a helpful perspective of your week, and we'll see you next time. Take care.